Right then, welcome back to the Rocket League Sunday here at the G-Finity Arena. I'm already actually choking up with the excitement of match two. Epsilon versus... Me uh, why am I so emotional? I want to cry because I tell you what, some people are saying there's nothing riding on this game. Well, they are so wrong because this is playing out for second or third and it should be a cracker. So, gentlemen, how are you seeing this match playing out? Um, I can honestly see it going either way, but actually, no, I can't. It's Method. Okay. Wow. Method okay. are winning this. That was savage. Shogun. That was that was so. That's that's not me putting down Epsilon here. Yeah. That is how confident I am in Method. Do you know they what that was? They got an entire little. You can't put together a video package like that saying, "Oh, there's Method in the madness. This is how many goals they've scored," and then not expect me to go for them. Oh, okay. You're going with what the director thinks, uh, but not your own thoughts on that. And also, uh, he was being very sort of prompt with there, like he was sending out a tweet with 140 characters. So go yeah. ahead, take as long as you want on this. This is an email version. Okay, well, I think that Method are a quality team. Uh, it's about 50 characters. <laughs> yeah. oh, I've just wasted some characters talking about characters. Oh, I'm, I'm done with Don't worry, you can, do, you can do the Twitter <laughs> thing where even though they gave you 140 characters, open bracket, one out of 12. Yes, there, there you go. go. You've got a lot we're, more characters We're now. on a roll now, so we're on tweet number three. <laughs> uh, Epsilon themselves are good players. Extreme Chump adds a new dynamic. It means they don't overcommit as much. I reckon there could be a chance they take a game. But I think I'm going to have to go with Shogun, not so abruptly. <laughs> uh, I will think the method will be Epsilon, but in a closer fashion than Shogun implied. Shogun, the abrupt man. Uh, is that, would that be a ring to a new name? Could you add it on, Shogun? I don't abrupt think Shogun. I, I don't think that's how I'd introduce myself to girls. But okay. Uh. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, with that in mind, let's move on. Uh, we will pass <laughs> over to a change in the casting and a man who was uh, having a lot of fun with with the audience and, and basically with a little posters uh, with, for your own name, Cole. What was uh, going on there? That wasn't me. Yeah, no. I, that, that, that was my twin who's just a massive fan of me. <laughs> yeah. He's got good taste. No. It was a great match. You're excited about this matchup too for, for second and third place. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely brilliant. We've seen such good passing plays from uh, Method throughout <laughs> and Epsilon have proved themselves worthy competitors too. I think this is going to be one of the best games. I think this is going to be the best game today. It's going to be close. It's going to be an interesting one. Like the analyst desk said, this is playing for second place, which mm -hmm. is a pretty big deal because they don't want to finish third. Third place in the league is going to match up against Infused in the, play in the playoff semifinal. Nobody wants that with how well Infused are playing. Undefeated at the moment. So why would you, why would you want to play them? No, you're right? absolutely right. And there's every chance these guys are, are going to come up against each other again, either in the semis or in the finals. So we'll see yeah. who ends up facing the better in this first game between them between Epsilon and Method. And my money's on Method as well. I think they're going to take this, personally, Johnny. I don't know about you. Yeah, I, I, I have to agree. The Alex161 Data Extreme Chump roster, perhaps not the strongest that uh, we've seen from Epsilon, just because Repix has been playing so well mm -hmm. in the past few weeks. They're going to miss him, I think. And on the other hand, we've got Magnus, who's been involved in 40 goals in six games. 22 goals, 18 assists. League leader in assists by Miles. And he's only two goals behind Doomsy. It could take both. The, the that would be yeah. one hell of an achievement. But yeah, look out for Metza and Magnus are both just behind Doomsy in the goal scoring tally. We've got Doomsy at 24, Magnus at 22, and Metza at 21. The only other player who's really in contention is Mout from Envy at 20. So. All of them are going to be trying to score as many individual goals just to try and take that lead. And it's a lot who's going to get the first one. Magnus with another assist. It is a full team passing play once more. Metza gets a 50. Magnus to the middle. A lot to the goal. Yeah, Johnny, before this game started, you and I were talking about how almost every single method goal has an assist to it. You very rarely see an individual goal from these players simply yeah. because they are always looking for each other. And within nine seconds, we've seen exactly that as method take the one goal lead. The question is, how is that going to shape the rest of this game? Method are favourites, and they've just taken an early lead. So what does Epsilon do now? Do they just wipe it away and say, you know, just carry on as we were going to do? Or would that change anything, do you think? With that one goal, it's, it's really a problem for them because now they can't just, so, they can't just now. sit back mm. and uh, try to weather the storm and try to get counterattacks. They need goals now. Data with a poor clear gets shot down again, Magnus with that center ball. Yeah, but you saw from Epsilon, all three of their players were in that same corner. And with passes as good as Method, they're not gonna try and take a quick shot. They're gonna look for the space and their teammate is going to be in that space. And now 2-0 within 35 seconds. Epsilon have gotta be careful because one more goal from Method and this game could quickly get away from them. You can't win Rocket League in the first minute, but you can certainly lose it. Absolutely right. 
you know, against any other team in the league, except maybe Infused, you would look at a 2-0 lead and think, it's not, it's not reversible yet, or irreversible. But against Method, who are just so dangerous, again, I, a lot of people think that they are the team to beat, even though Infused stand undefeated at the top of the leaderboard. Method are just so, so dangerous in attack when they're all playing at their best. And after that one defeat that they did have to Infused early in the season, mm. they've really risen stepped up their 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 individual gameplay, their team play, their speed, their confidence, their reliability. Magnus, he doesn't whiff the ball anymore. I used to be a problem for him. Now he just slams it every single time. Top corner, one to 110 kilometers an hour. Well, a big reason for that is that he must be so confident that his teammates are going to be in the right position that if he should miss, they're going to be there for him. It's not going to lead to an open goal. And you see it just there, Metzenoris waiting for extreme chance for a split second. I thought that could have been an open goal from the halfway line, but no, he was there. The method players were filling in where they should be, and time is ticking away. Three minutes and ten seconds oh, left, another. and that's going to be the third goal. Another ceiling hit as well. This time from a lot, puts the ball in the air, and Metzenoris, there we go. He doesn't try and aim that down, he, he aims it up because he's so confident that Metzenoris is going to be the first one following up. And 3-0 now, Johnny. It's not going great for Epsilon. Yeah, not going very well at all. I do love that ceiling pass from a lot, though. He knows it hits it straight up in the air, yeah. then it's less likely to get blocked because Defender will probably be in front of him blocking the shot. That's another great block. Mognus has just sat on that ball as it fell. Yeah, for the Metzler did just tie Mognus for 22 goals in the season. So they're having a little ah. rivalry here. So I've got two countrymen. I've got down here that it's 22 to Mognus and 24 to Doomsy. I didn't even yes. think of Metzler. Metzler. <laughs> as he scores again, overtakes Mognus. <laughs> I'm going to write him down right now, Johnny. 20 23 Metzler. We're just going to call him Metza. I could too say hard. Morris, but I can't really don't know spell how to it. Don't know yeah. how to spell that. Don't know how to spell many words. <laughs> I, I struggled to spell 23, so, you know, <laughs> Metza Norris is a big struggle. tried to spell 23. Oh, dear. I, I managed. You got there eventually. 4-0 method, and not even half the game gone yet. Epsilon are going to have to completely change their tactics here, because anything they're trying is not working. Whether they try and match method and have a more passing game, we're going to have to keep a close eye on what exactly it is that they're trying to do to get goals. They're just getting outpaced right now, which is nothing to be ashamed of. Method, one of the fastest teams, not just in the Elite Series, but certainly in the world. They love to win games purely based on speed. And that's what they're doing today. The wave dash pass right, Alex does get intercepted. Magnus getting up fast to meet his opponent in the air. Perhaps the first bit of consistent pressure for Epsilon. Will they be able to convert? Yes, they will! What a shot by Alex! Yeah, brilliant individual play from Data here. Look at that, look at that, look at those one skills. He aerials up, aerials down, and loops it over in one movement. And then Alex with actually a really, really nice Great finish from a harsh angle. Yeah, that was good play all around. And it looks like Epsilon are going to be relying more on the individual plays, at least based on the first three minutes of this. Epsilon are going to want to do amazing things individually, whereas Method are looking for each other. If it were not for Metza stepping up his 1v1 game recently, I would say Alex161 is by far the best solo duelist in the lobby. He's uh, several times the top 10 player in the ones leaderboard. Metza recently climbing up, I believe, to 30th in the world. So that's a very impressive uh, climb from yeah. a player who never really focused on 1v1 until quite recently. He wanted to just give it a bash, see how good he could get. And 30th in the world is pretty good. Especially when you consider that some players like Scrub Killer have got three accounts in the top four. At this, <laughs> at this level, Johnny, how much does 1v1 ability come into play? We talk so much about passing and we talk so much about rotations. How much is just having the ability to get past your opponent who's in front of you? How often is that useful at this level? Oh, it's a huge advantage. And some players prefer to practice 2v2 to practice those grind plays, because grind plays are so rare in 3v3 that you don't really get much of a chance to practice them if you don't play other game modes like 1v1 and 2v2. But, you know, practicing those other game modes, it gives you more chances to work those mechanics and get better at dribbling. And then when the situation does arise, arrive in 3v3 to get the ball on the ground and take on an opponent one-on-one, -on -one, you've been there before enough yeah. times to make it work. And that's where the 1v1 especially comes in useful. And it helps you to avoid making mistakes as well. Oh, absolutely. Because yeah, in 1v1, exactly. you make one mistake, and that is game over, essentially. And this oh, could Magnus well... tied him. 20, we're, we're thinking right. about the Magnus versus Metza goal tally at the moment. <laughs> Epsilon versus Method. 
I win and loss. I think that says a lot about this game, the fact that, yeah, I've got now 23, 23 goals for them all. Doomsie's watching Doomsie. this, sweating. sweating. Yeah, picking up his collar, going, oh no, what's going on here? <laughs> He's not just got one method player against yeah. him. He's got both of them. I think Doomsie's going to buy an Epsilon jersey as we speak. So like, Come <laughs> on, Epsilon, you can hold! <laughs> At the moment, still the league leader in goals yep. is Doomsie. But for how much longer? Still 15 seconds left, and this could be a second goal for Epsilon, but no, a brilliant save from a lot. And now the counter attack could be number six. Magnus, he's passed it to Metza. Metza gets his shot saved. I wonder if there will be that rivalry between these guys. Are they going to stop passing to each other just to try and one up each other? In the grand final. I don't <laughs> even know if they are aware that they're currently tied in goals for the season. I don't know if they're if they're aware of that stat. Maybe they can hear us. Maybe we should uh, tell them. Hey guys, you're you're tied on 23 goals each. Stop touch, passing. Touch your nose if you can hear us. Okay, no, 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 I, no, thought, no, you, I no. thought he was going for it. But <laughs> they he says, oh, he's going for his water bottle. Like, yeah, right. turn the water bottle if you can drink. Drink, it, drink it, if you they, they, yeah. they can hear us. They yeah, can, can hear definitely us. hear us. So, his head. a dominant performance there from Method Johnny. I don't think Epsilon really ever looked like they're going to win that game. Uh, they did get themselves a really nice goal, a really nice uh, mechanical yeah, goal. But I think out. overall, teamwork, everything like that, it just seemed like Method were better. And we saw from the beginning, straight away, a lot scores an open goal from a great pass, and then almost the exact same goal for the second one, 20 seconds later. Yeah, Magnus, league leader for assists is the other thing we have to remember. This man is just involved in so many goals. Yeah, Metza, he's always there. Great power on that shot. This is definitely goal of the game, though. Alex mm. 1-6-1 with a cheeky little flip just to put that into the top corner. No. Magnus, not bad. Nice. Not bad to slow himself down in the air and wait for the ball to reach him. Getting the solid hitbox as well, getting his full car behind the ball just so that he can get the maximum amount of power on <laughs> that shot, make sure it gets past the goalkeeper. It seems to me that Epsilon are going to certainly have to change something if they want to win this game. I am not sure what. Are they going to have to start looking for each other a bit more? It seems that with Method, as I've said a lot, Whenever one of them hits it, the other one's there waiting for the ball. I didn't really see that with Epsilon, and that made their clearances tougher. They'd, they'd hit it forward, and the ball would come straight back to them, because their clearances were just going straight to a Method player instead of an Epsilon player. Oh, this hesitation once again, and 1-0 oh, once man. again. I was about to say, if they want to win, they can't hesitate. And look at this from Extreme Shop. He's not boosting till way too late. Magnus flies in from distance and comfortably takes him out of the game. Metza, 24 goals now. For this oh, season. Um, tied with Doomsie. 24. <laughs> Magnus with another assist. And another very early method goal, which could shape this second game. Dave has to be careful on the backboard. Does well. Extreme Chump looks for that second hit, but he can't quite make it. Oh my goodness. And then Metsonoris does some stuff. <laughs> he does some cool stuff, and it almost works out as a counter attack for method. Metsa just keeps touching the ball. They, they can't stop him. In the air, on the floor, he doesn't really care. A lot is up, and a goal is down. Good placement from Malot. He saw the pre-jump, knocks it right underneath the defender. Alex161 doesn't know where to go. Data's way too high on the wall. I think that Data thought that his teammate uh, was going to get that. I think he thought that Alex was going to get that, so didn't aerial into it nice and quickly. And then when the Alex miss comes in, Data is stuck on the wall, and Malot gets another easy finish. He's had like five tap-ins. He always seems to be tapping yeah. into Lot's goals. That's a good pass. Data has whiffed it. They can't allow whiffs like that to happen, and Magnus oh, might get his no. 24th. Yes, he will. I'm running out of panic, Johnny. Three. I'm running out of panic. <laughs> Three-way tie for 24 goals. Yep. Magnus, Metza, and Doomsy all tied up. Of course, Doomsy is still the favorite because he's got more games left to play. I wonder if Doomsy and the gang will let Excel win a game here. No, Excel, will they let, <laughs> win will they let them win a game here or there just so Doomsy has more chances to score? That would be exactly like Doomsy to Kirken, throw. Literally, well, the question is, Johnny, do own goals count? That's the big oh. question. If own goals count, then Doomsy is in business. I think the own goals should count as negative. Ah, I see. Yeah, negative. If Doomsy see. scores an own goal, we should knock one off his tally. Harsh rules. Harsh throwing, rules. Throwing for goals. It's the Doomsy four. way. Magnus 25 on the season. He's now overtaken his teammate Metza and Doomsy, who I can confirm has just been seen sweating <laughs> in the stand. <laughs> Yeah, real, real struggle for Epsilon this game, even more so than the first. We could be in. I'm going to use a cliche, Johnny. You ready? Are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. We could be in for a cricket score this oh, game. Goodness sake. A cricket score from Method against Epsilon. Oh. Four up, trying to make it by with some dunks and some dodges and some dives. But Epsilon 
get away with this one. They try and get up, but Moglis is right there in their face, and they can't get the ball away. They can't get the ball out of their own half at all. So is, is cricket still... Is it still happening? Are there, they, are there they, still cricket games? They do indeed still play cricket. People still play cricket? Yes. Uh, I can't say that. I'm only kidding. I played cricket before. It's, uh, it's actually more, a lot. It's a lot of fun. I, I didn't think it would be that hard, but it's so difficult. Ooh! To play. Ooh! Oh, I forgot there was a Rocket League game going on. Jump. Yeah, Epsilon with a big backboard hit from Data. Really good read. Mets misses it. And Extreme Shop does really well there, actually, to gamble. He gambled on Mets missing you that might, ball. You might have flip reset there. He didn't use it. Got to use the flip reset if you land on the ball with all four wheels. Just use it. But does the show the still other count, Johnny? Oh, of course. You then that's show. all that matters. It's just to show the other team. Hey, by the way, I had a <laughs> it, it was over. I, I had a flip reset. No coming back from that. 4-1, it isn't over yet, but with a team like Method playing as well as they are. And they've been absolutely dominant, haven't they? Sometimes against Method, you just, it's not really up to you. If they're playing well, that's GG. You, what are you supposed to do against a team who are world class, playing at their best, playing so fast, just dominating aerial battles. And the thing is as well, they lost their first two games. I'm not sure which roster was playing. It was the sub squad week one. It was the sub week one, but then they lost the second one with their main roster, correct? Yes, Infuse did take down a full strength method. So they can be beaten, but since then they've got better and better and better every oh, yeah. single week. They, they've they gone really... from one of the competitors to, in my opinion, the team to beat. Oh yeah, they, they started off their LAN performances pretty poorly with uh, poor showing by their standards at DreamHack Sweden, and then losing to Infuse. Week two of Gfinity Elite Series again by the high standards that these by these guys set for themselves. They they do not want to lose games like that. Well, they we don't want to lose anybody. We've said about prophecy that they rarely play together away from this tournament. Method do play together and they're just getting better and better as a team. 26. He's in the lead by another. A lot with a cheeky little fake on the first goalkeeper. Second Ooh. one gets it out, but Extreme Jump couldn't get it to safety. The old, the old Mognus would have passed there, Johnny. He wants the you're, top you're scorer. Think so. He would have passed that, yeah. He would have passed He's the, changed, man. He, he sent the top scorer. What, on an open net? Yes, <laughs> the old Mognus would have passed for the open net, Johnny. He'd have thought, oh, I'd rather Metza score, so stay confident. That's how lovely these guys were, but now all they've got in their mind is goals. Oh, another chance and another goal. Alex 161 punishing Method for a pretty careless clear ball. Yeah, it was a nice pass. Straight actually. down the middle from Mognus, not good enough. It was a nice pass initially from Extreme Chump onto Data, and then when the save wasn't put to the corner, it was just pumped out into the middle, and there was Alex. There's... We haven't really talked about Epsilon much this game. There's only three goals in this. They've managed to get themselves two goals. You sort of get the sense that any second method could score again, but if Epsilon are to break through that, if Method go, right, let's score a few, and then Epsilon don't have the goal to not concede, this game could suddenly change on its head. It could happen. We've seen Reason Gaming manage to put two games past at Prophecy, who were dominating them yeah. early in that series. Oh, what a shot by Magnus! Bringing it back from an almost impossible angle. A lot is up, but he's only there to spectate as the Finns link up yet again. What a play. That goal, Johnny, had everything. It had mechanical, mechanical ability, it had brilliant passing, it had composure, it had passing instead of shooting. Everything I love in Rocket League, that goal had it right there. That's the goal of the game so far, oh, yeah. by a Seriously. long way. That was quality. Crisp play, and Magnus is looking for another. It would have been open. Oh. It was open after that demo from a lot. Among his 27 goals for the season in his seventh series, and there may be more to come. I certainly expect there to be more. Yeah, so at least one more game of this. A lot was talking to me earlier. He says, you need to be nice no. to me. I never, I never get any praise, but really, it's just Magnus has been beasting this season so hard. Well, to be fair to a lot, he allows them to do that. His positioning is very good. If, they had, if uh, Metz and Bognos had a third that wasn't as good positionally, they wouldn't be able to throw caution to the wind as much as they do. A lot really allowed oh, them to do that with just brilliant defensive positioning. Oh no, uh, and uh, we can't forget that Alinus a lot is the the oldest in the team, or at, th at least I think he is. I think uh, so. He's he's got to be older. He is he's, their leader. He's definitely the emotional leader. He's uh, got the best shooting percentage out of the three of them. He's you know. On all of the top five score sheets, in fact, for goals, assists, everything except saves, it's just the fact that Magnus is ahead of him in all these score sheets <laughs> that, makes him, that makes him look worse than he really is. All around, 
the team to beat at the moment in the Gfinity Elite Series is Method. It's a puts in a good solo goal, but to no avail. They're already down by three goals. Yeah, still. the game is well over, but a beautiful self-assist from Data, and he reads out the back one so well. Great finish. Magnus was creeping towards the front post, and Data just puts it past him. Wrong foots him, essentially, and that was into the far corner. Wrong, oh, wrong wheels him. Wrong wheels him, yeah. Wrong wheels him, maybe. Wrong three field, goals maybe. for Epsilon. They can score. They've just got to be a bit more solid defensively and try to... I say try to like it's easy. They need yeah. to try to somehow defend against these incisive passes from Method. It's just... Don't ask me so, how. It's so That's what they need to do. <laughs> it's so difficult. 11 shots to five as the, the two Finns and their... They're, I'd say they're in-game leader, they're morale leader. Certainly the joker of the team, the ones to try and lift them up whenever they're down. It's just so rare that they're never down, so he's not, I've not, he's not called yet. upon. But it's good to see them playing at their best. Yeah, yeah another such a joy to watch. Another pass across the center, another other pass across the center. The first two goals good placement. were exactly like the goals in the first game. Just cuts across that goal and then knocks inside it. And then Mognus, I think that was an overcommit from Epsilon, and he had an open goal. And then another open goal. All of these goals, are the finishes are normally quite simple uh, for Method because they just work the ball so well to earn that simple finish. Yeah, and they're not missing these open net shots, which no. is something worth mentioning. I mean, in, in one-sided games, open net shots are much easier to score. Look at that from Magnus. They are rolling so with good. purpose. Certainly not freestyling for show there. He's trying with every movement that he makes. To he has get to hang in the air to towards he? the ball, he's got to get into position, then slow himself down, mm -hmm. and then try to air roll into the shot just to get more power. Because if he can air roll into the ball as it comes at him, then the ball, the shot is going to be harder to save as it reaches the goal. I will say, Johnny, we've been spoilt for goals in this series. We've seen brilliant goals, we've seen beautiful teamwork goals, and we've seen a lot of goals. Uh, that last one was four two. The one before that. I can't even remember the score, but we've had plenty of goals in this series, and I'm sure we're going to have more going in to the third game and perhaps beyond if Epsilon can put some pressure on for themselves if they can if they can suppress oh. this incredible method attack. But they've got away with it for the first 10 seconds. The first time in this series they've survived for the first 10 seconds. That's a good start. It is a brilliant <laughs> a good start. start. There was a bit of pressure against them, but they held firm. <laughs> It's very important against Method to not let them start that train. The barrage of goals. The inevitable has at least been delayed. Yeah, they will. Match. I would put a lot of money on Method scoring a goal in this game. The question is, can Epsilon continue their tradition of scoring against Method? But this time, make sure that they don't concede on the other side. There's a lot for oh. them beautifully, and Mark oh. reads it! But doesn't quite put it home. That would have been such a brilliant goal, a lot with a great flick on. And then a good read from Magnus, but he couldn't quite get the angle. I thought that was going to be a goal. A lot, nearly putting it straight into the top corner as well. With quite some speed mm. on the shot. That's a careless hit from Metza. Does get rescued by a lot. He's running interference, he's got the goalie. There is another. Alex161 just hey, there, but a lot careful. too fast from the blind spot. Magnus gets the assist this time. Yeah, Data ends up facing backwards. And of course, when you're backwards, you're so much slower to the ball. And a lot was forwards. He charges into that and gets another open goal finish. That's been the theme of this series. Open goal finishes for Method because they've been working the ball so well. But in Epsilon's defense, they survived for 1 minute and 20 seconds, which is their record. So, <laughs> you know, well done them. Not bad. No, not bad at all. More no, than I not, lost. Not good, but not bad. Well, it's not ideal. Uh, oh, no, it's looking bad once again. <laughs> another near point blank passing play. <laughs> Was that a shot or a pass from Magnus? I think a bit of both. He's just looking for either an unstoppable shot or I, a pass if he misses it. I believe in football they call that a cross come shot. Oh, yeah. You know, and they blast the ball and it sort of goes just past the far post. It might, you're hoping it takes a deflection. Even a exactly. Defender, exactly. defender might knock it because he doesn't want to see it pass by his ear at a million miles an hour. That's a good Ooh. shot, battling the inside of the post. Data has looked like the most threatening. Yeah, his shooting's been on point. That's such a shame that hit the post, because that would have made this game wide open. But Epsilon have weathered the storm. They did concede. 
Not, uh, not as early as previously, and they seem to have weathered the storm. And this game's actually a bit more even than the ones that we've had before, I think. Epstorm are in this, that. and they're more than in this now, because Data checks back, waits for his moment to shoot, doesn't rush it. I think he was aware that the method defense had gone to sleep, and he just puts oh. that ball home. <laughs> Did I probably can't believe how much time he had to score. No, he can't believe his luck, can he? It's very unusual to see Method's rotation break down, nobody arriving to back up a lot there. Very rare to see a team who relies so heavily on that three-man offense, three-man defense. Mm. No, they don't really have any roles that they try to play. Something that makes Method so different is that that, that is the first free goal that Epsilon has scored. It doesn't matter, they're back. It doesn't matter in the end anyway, <laughs> yeah. They're not going to get another free goal. Any more, any, any, every other goal that Epsilon have scored they've had to work for. It's been a good finish or a brilliant piece of mechanical singles play. The last one was free. It won't happen again. And in fact, Method are going to go down the other end and score for themselves. And I make that 28 from Ognis. Oh. He's putting the pressure more and more on Doomsie, who started the day with a couple of goals more than his Finnish rival. Yeah. Now Magnus is up by four after putting six past Epsilon and infused, in three games. And infused are up against Envious as well next game. Indeed. The wall of Waffle in defense. Remco so as Doomsie, well. Yeah, and Remco, of course. So Doomsie won't have it all his own way. It's going to be really tough. Yeah, definitely. Really, really tough. Magnus did have a quiet week last week. He didn't score. I, I don't think he scored many, if any at all, last week. See, he was ahead of Doomsie, but Doomsie had so many goals last week, and Magnus hardly, yeah. hardly any. That, that's why we have this close 1v1 battle for the the golden boot in the league portion of the Elite Series. Yeah, Doomsie filled his golden boots, as they say, against uh, against XL last week. But this is very different. Epsilon, I thought they were going to put up more of a fight against Method than they seem to be. I Method, didn't think Method there'd be this good. many goals. I didn't think there'd be this many goals, though, Johnny. I thought that Method were going to win, but not in this style. It's been utter dominance, really. Oh, yeah. But with, like I said earlier, when Method play as well as they are today, touch. You can, it's not even on you as the opponents at times. Like, they're just going to score. They're just going to be into the ball. And it's worth mentioning, a lot of these open nets that they have been scoring, they're only open because the speed that Method arrive on the scene... Of course. ...is before the defense has time to recover. Oh, that's a miss from a lot. Rattle on the crossbar from Extreme Chop. Only a goal in this, and that really could have been a tie game. Just a couple of inches lower. Method are slowing down. They need to be careful and get across the finish line before they put on the brakes. Great pass infield from a lot. Metza fires wide. The shooting accuracy has certainly taken a bit of a dip in this last game. I was going to say 45 seconds left, and one more method goal is going to kill this, but an Epsilon goal could very well take us to OT. OT jump is open. And an OT, anything can happen. 30 seconds left. Alex on the attack, but I think he's running out of boost. He is, and Metza going to take Metza. this away. Of course, a pass from to Metza Norris, but Data reads it well. He's read that pass brilliantly. Data's had a good game, I think. Good Data series. looking for the pass. No one's in field. 20 seconds. Alex coming off the ceiling. The ball does bounce twice, ceiling and floor. Oh, that's a good pass, Extreme Chomp, trying to find Alex, who was landing still. 10 seconds. This is it for Epsilon. If they want to avoid Infused in the semi-finals, they need a goal right now. Otherwise, it is going to be Method, who will take this, well, and they do. Magnus at the end as well. 3-0, Method. Get the job done. Magnus moves up to 28 goals for the league as a whole. Four ahead of Doomsie. Mets are ready for another game. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not <laughs> Why done. not? They're in the zone, Johnny. They are not done this. Method were just so good in that entire series. Every single game, they just dominated Epsilon. Well, I say that the last game was Epsilon's best one. Oh, yeah. They battled Method in that final game. The first two, it was a blowout. It, it was. It looked fairly easy for Method at times. Method, they didn't really hit their shots as well as they did in the first two games in game three. But it was still enough to get the job done. The, the level that they're playing at mm -hmm. is good enough that even when they don't play at the top gear, they're still comfortably able to deal with some tough, tough comp competition. That chance would have been so beautiful. The, can we call it an air doink from a lot to help that ball I mean, along? If anyone can, you can call. I would have called it an air doink, Johnny. An <laughs> air doink would be assist, but unfortunately it was missed. And yeah. 2-1. It was 1-all until 2 minutes and 28 seconds left. Immediate response, though, from Magnus and Metza. Pulling out a good save. Data, again, pretty high on the backboard. A oh. lot did exploit that earlier in the season, in the series, sorry. I was, bit, low. I was a bit disappointed in the last 30 seconds or so. You're really thinking, come on, Epsilon, push on. 
You know, try and get yourself a goal. It doesn't matter if you lose 3-1. There's no difference between losing 3-1 to losing 2-1. So I was really hoping Epsilon would push on there right at the end, but they just didn't seem to. There were chances. Uh, I think Alex was needed in the centre, but he was rotating back. So Data yeah. moves that ball into the centre, and there was no one following. That was my biggest disappointment there from Epsilon. Apart from that, they didn't play bad. They just... They're just not as brilliant as Method are. Oh, Method are world class. And we knew that coming into the Elite Series. The only question mark about Method was, would they be able to compete in the LAN setting? Something they had not done and not shown us before the Elite Series began. Mm -hmm. But they've certainly stepped up. And they've been playing great uh, for, the, for the last five series. Yes. Ever since their loss to Infused, it really sparked something new in Method. And they've been incredibly consistent. But everybody's right on the predictions for Game 2 or Series 2 on the day. Tom. Back over to you. Thank you very much, Johnny Boy, uh, and to Cole as well. Um, listen, there you have it. Uh, a, a convincing win for Method, uh, which does this to the table. You have a situation where they go into second place. And that's what that match was all about. Who is going to finish second? Who is going to finish third? Which means, you know, uh, Method will be taking on whoever breaks into that playoff uh, place. But they were very convincing today, weren't they, uh, Shogun and Gregan, weren't they? Yeah, and I, I'm particularly excited to see how Method perform in the future, potentially against Infused, uh, but I certainly expect them now with their current form to be the, the popular team to potentially take the whole Gfinity Elite series. Yeah, I, I raised the question before the game started. I said, what does a lot do? Uh, and well, he pops up with two goals in that first match and scored four in total. And um, it, was a, it was a fantastic team performance, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely is. I mean, it's going to be an, always an annoyance when you end up playing along with Magnus and Metz Norris, which is their class is a duo. So whenever you're there, it's always a focus on the duo. But a lot does something very smart. He holds himself as a more of a positioning player. He puts himself in the right spot, puts the ball where it needs to be, and just goes, fly, my children. <laughs> do what you want to do, and I'll make sure that nothing goes wrong. And when the ball comes to him, he is an experienced professional player. He can put that into the back of the net. He is just very disciplined with what he does. Mm. Uh, a man who's very disciplined when it comes to scoring lots of goals is a man called Mognus, and we're going to welcome him down to the panel. Hey, buddy. <laughs> we, uh, I have to say, uh, well, mid, well, you can't seat. fist bump and sit on a seat. That is official. Uh, <laughs> listen, uh, every, every time I see you backstage, we always say moi. Uh, in Finnish, we say hello. Um, yeah. You delivered there. Fantastic match. You must be feeling very good after that result. Yeah, it's been getting better and better after every week. Yeah. And, and to get to the top of the uh, goal scoring uh, charts, um, you're taking on Doomsy. It seemed like for a moment or two, Metzenorius was trying to beat you uh, to that top yeah. spot. Um, but is that your, your, I was going to use the phrase, is that your goal? But is, is it your purpose in your mind to get as many goals as you can to beat Doomsy to the leaderboard? Mm, no, not right now. I just focus on winning yeah. and the goals come by. Yeah. And I'm focusing on winning part. <laughs> okay. So four goals ahead of Doomsy now. Will you be watching the match between Envious and uh, Team Infuse, hoping that Doomsy doesn't get as many as four? Uh, I'll probably be at the airport, to be honest. <laughs> <I get laughs> okay, oh, fair enough. All right, uh, this is the jet setting light, uh, a life of uh, method. Um, the goals that you scored today were, were, were brilliant. Um, can you talk us through a couple of them? I mean, uh, ba basic practice, like aerial backboard hits, that's what you need to practice for to become a pro, those backboard hits. Uh, one of my favourite things about you, Magnus, is the, the speed at which you play. Um, now, when you're playing fast, uh, can you explain to some newer players why that's so useful with all those things like aerials? Um, it's always useful to beat your opponent uh, to an aerial, then they will either fly to your side and they'll be completely out of position, and you'll have the 2v3 on their side, mm -hmm. most likely. Yeah, so it's all about catching people off guard. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's why Method scores so many goals, is because you create these situations where you have one or two extra players, so all it takes is a quick pass or a good shot. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's just great watching Method score so many goals. That's what we ask for every week, and you, you performed it here. And yeah. for you right now, you, you, everyone's already mentioned they want Team Infused. You guys lost to them. Yeah. If you were to play them again, what is different this time? 
uh, Lean is not playing Dominus. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. why we lost. That's okay. why, that simple reason. Yeah, that, that's yeah. all it comes down to. I, I believe Doomsie has just been told about he's got to get those four goals uh, and is um, getting some practice in right now to make sure. There you go. That is the, the wink of the eye. Uh, and he's got a laid back style. He doesn't seem too bothered about those four goals. Look at the glasses on Sebado. I love those yellow tint on them. That is glorious. Um, listen, I've got to ask. Um, you finished second now, um, that's guaranteed, but you will be playing someone, either Envious or Endpoint. Who would you like to play? Mm, I would say Endpoint because Envious can bring those world champions in. It won't be that hard to be beat them, but I would prefer Endpoint to be an easier opponent. Okay, well listen, uh, Magnus, lovely chatting to you. Congratulations on being top of the leaderboard for the goals right now. A man that you hugged, you forced a hug on him, uh, was a guy called Data who is with Ariel right now. And what a hug it was. Did you enjoy that hug from Magnus? I did, I did, did, yes. Yeah. Didn't help me win though, did it? No. <laughs> uh, talk to me about the game. Uh, we got beaten to the ball <laughs> every time. And we conceded a lot of goals. Uh, what was the team mentality through it? That was there a lack of communication? Was it just that you couldn't keep up with method? What happened? We didn't have the best communication. Okay. It was better at, I don't know, the start and the end. Yeah. Because everyone was saying that Extreme Trump usually comes in with the positivity and that he's a bit of a hype man when it comes to like when you're playing, always keeps you guys going. Did that not happen? I don't know. We had a hard time hyping up this time. Okay. But are we feeling good? Yeah, oh, yeah it's fine. <laughs> I just feel like it's like you're really sad about this. But it's fine. It's all good. Method are world class, as the guys were saying. You've obviously had quite a tough match against them, but you held your own. Yeah, the, I mean, the last game was more how we should have played the yeah. rest of the series. So are you hopeful for the playoffs? Yes, I am. Yeah. Who are you hoping to play against? Method. <laughs> I like it, a rematch. Excellent, love that data. Back to you, Tom. Thank you very much, Ariel. I'll tell you what, uh, data doesn't look too sad, but there was a couple of people leaving who I think were asking for tissues with a bit of tears uh, rolling down their faces at the moment uh, with that loss for Epsilon. But, um, but yeah, you heard it from data, looking forward to that next matchup and what's gonna happen with him. And you got a bit of backstory on that, Shogun. Well, he wants the rematch. Currently, right now, they will be sticking on 12 points. That's where they end. If Endpoint win their match later, they go on to 13. So if they want that rematch, they get it if Endpoint yeah. win. Of course, which will, be, uh, which will cause much uh, excitement to uh, Data. But really, is there a chance if they have that rematch? <laughs> Method are scary. And I think everyone is scared of Method. I think Data was putting on a, a strong face there to look yeah. like they have potential to win it. But ultimately, you've got to beat everyone to be able to win the competition. So it doesn't matter who you face, you've just got to take the next game as it comes and try and play your best. Yeah, of course. And some of those people might have been leaving because they wanted to get home and log on for the Challenger series, which gives them an opportunity uh, to, to go away. And then obviously, uh, maybe, hopefully, if they're 16 and above, end up on one of the franchise's teams. Yeah. <laughs> next time, next time. I mean, the Challenger Series has brought a lot of very good Rocket League players around. And it's one of my, my particular favorites is watching the tables every week and seeing where these new players come out. Yeah, I mean, so it gives an opportunity for people to play at home or wherever they may be, uh, and then hopefully get spotted, signed, work their way up the table. There's cash prizes to play for as well. Um, and so you don't actually have to be 16 to get there, but you won't get picked up by the, the, the franchise teams. But you've seen some of the matches, and what's the quality like? I mean, all of these players who are competing here continue competing in the Challenger Series in the hope they might get picked up next time if they get dropped out of an org, for example. But there's also some of the other signed teams uh, in, who, who don't compete in the Elite Series who are also playing there. So it's a really good place to test your skills, bring a lot of the great European players together and see how far you can get. Yeah, what was that goal that was going on there? There was a bit of a backstory <laughs> to that one, wasn't there? Yeah, so Fairy Peak uh, pops it up in the air, plays for Mocket. He pops it up and then Pashi intercepts it at the same time and you just see Mummy Stowe on the goal line completely uh, dumbfounded by the whole situation as it pops in over the top of him. They had so many great goals in that, uh, in that uh, Challenger Series. Um, so that was just one of many. Yeah, uh, that, all the details for that are the gfinityesports.com. Uh, so make sure you have a little look for that and get involved with the Challenger Series. Listen, there is a massive game on the way. They've called on the services, that's envious, of the Rem God. Uh, so he will be playing very shortly as they take on Team Infuse. And it is a match that Envious needs to win so they get in to the playoffs.